In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. Let us thank the Lord for the gift of another day. In today's Gospel, St. Luke presents Jesus as a missionary. We too are called to be missionaries through our baptism. Let us thank the Lord for this great invitation to be missionary in our own times. At the same time, it's good to ask ourselves, are we doing enough to keep up the missionary spirit in our life? For the times we have failed, let us sincerely seek His pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and, and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, your Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Finally, brothers, be strong in the Lord, and in the strength of his might, put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. For we do not wrestle against the flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying at all times in the Spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance, making supplications for all the saints, and also for me, that words may be given to me in opening my mouth boldly to proclaim the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, that I may declare it boldly, as I ought to speak. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Some, your response, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord my rock, who trains my hands for battle, who prepares my fingers for war. 
Bless be the Lord my rock. He is my merciful love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior, my shield in whom I take refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Bless be the Lord my rock. To you, O God, I will sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, who set David your servant free from the evil sword. Bless be the Lord my rock. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace on earth and glory in the highest. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 13, verses 31 to 35. At that time, some Pharisees came and said to Jesus, Get away from here, for Herod wants to kill you. And he said to them, Go and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons and perform cures today and tomorrow, and the third day I finish my course. Nevertheless, I must go on my way today and tomorrow and the day following, for it cannot be that a prophet should perish away from Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stones those who are sent to it, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing? Behold, your house is forsaken. And I tell you, you will not see me until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, in today's Gospel, St. Luke presents two characteristics of a missionary from the life of Jesus. The first characteristic of a missionary is he or she acts as a mediator between God and his people. Those who visited Holy Land will know that there is a church is called, which is called the Church of uh, Weeping, where Jesus wept. In that church, in one of the doors it is written, the door of the Messiah. In today's Gospel, Jesus weeps for the people of Jerusalem, the people of Israel, because he is the Messiah and people of his time couldn't understand that he is the Messiah. That's why Jesus weeps. But he doesn't stop there. He goes ahead and performs his duties. So the first characteristic of a missionary is the person who acts as a mediator between God and his people. That's what Jesus does in his life. He is a mediator between his father and his people. The second characteristic of a missionary is the one who stands firm in the wake of difficulties, problems, and, you know, all the obstacles. In today's gospel, people of his time tell him that, please go away from us, Herod wants to kill you. But Jesus says, tell that fox. It seems the nickname of Herod was fox, 
because he was doing some activities which was not proper of his time. So he was nicknamed as a fox. Jesus says, tell that fox that I will continue to work. He points out, points out three days. Three days here means not just 72 hours. Three days here means etern, eternal work of God. The, the work of God will continue always. So a missionary is the one who continues the activity of God. That's what St. Luke portrays Jesus in today's gospel. Yes, my dear friends, in our life too, we come across so many obstacles, problems. But what we do in those times? Are we dejected? Are we take back a step from our life? No, says Jesus in today's gospel. We need to have firm faith in the Lord and go ahead in doing what God wants us to do. Today, let us thank God for helping us to be aware of our missionary nature. At the same time, it's good to ask ourselves, are we aware that we are mediators between God and His people? And are we aware that God is with us all the time, especially when we are faced with the problems and difficulties? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may your sacrifice you said this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away many good days and cleanse me. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, Blessed James Alberione, and Blessed Timotheo Giacardo, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and forever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection, mind and body, and a healing remedy.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Christ loved us and gave himself for us as a fragrant offering to God. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. His majesty indeed fills the earth. Heaven and earth forever sing praises to the God. Heaven and earth forever sing praises to the God. Let us thank the Lord with His Son He has sent and made Him shed His blood for our sake. Praises to the